I, uh, good to see you all again. Thanks for joining me. You actually joined me on my first fly session of the year for bass. It's a very bright, sunny day. Not conditions that I really favour, but got to get out and try. Been gagging to get on the fly. All those weeks in lockdown, and finally we're allowed out, but the tides aren't brilliant. So I've had to pick a sort of mid, late, mid to late afternoon low tide. The wind's forecast to be not too bad, but things can be very different when you get down on the shoreline. As you can see, walking alongside a woodland, I've got a very, very long walk ahead of me to get to the spot that I want to fish. Probably going to take me the best part of 45, 50 minutes just to get there. It's produced very well for me in the past. I'm just hoping, fingers crossed, as I always say, there might be a few fish about. Even if I don't catch, it's a lovely day. I need some exercise. You can probably hear by my breathlessness, I'm a bit out of condition. <laughs> I don't walk very far when I'm not fishing. And through the winter, of course, I'm sat on my backside carp fishing behind alarms. I don't fly fish in the winter or lure fish very much. I much prefer a more relaxing type of fishing, sitting behind alarms, <laughs> getting old, see? Getting old and lazy. Anyway, let's hope the effort equals the rewards. I'm going to put the camera away, because my arm's aching, holding it up, looking at you lot, and I'll talk to you again once I get down there. See you in a minute. Finally made it. I'm a bit out of breath, but I'm still alive. That's always a bonus when you're 50 and you've just walked about two miles over very rough terrain. Just putting some sun cream on because it's absolutely boiling now. As I said on the way down, it's far from, in my eyes, far from ideal conditions, but. Um, got to be in it to win it haven't you so that was an epic walk I'm just trying to catch my breath now drink of water hydrate one thing I forgot to or a couple of things I forgot to mention in my beginners video um, I think I mentioned carrying water with you obviously always carry water especially when it's warm even on 
you know warm evenings it, it can be very dehydrating um, standing in the sea so always have a, a, a nice cool drink handy. The other thing that's important is always wear a hat, keep that sun off your head. You don't want to end up with sunstroke and also stripping gloves. These are sun gloves as well. They're um, UV protective so that the back of my hands won't get burnt and they've got leather strips on the palms for stripping the line over so that you don't end up with a sore finger. So I'm just going to finish catching my breath and then I think the tide's on its way in now. There are a few seagulls about so that's possibly a, a good sign that there might be some fish about, some bait fish. So once I'm sorted and I've caught my breath then we'll go for a walk out onto the mark. Now obviously I can't do a wide shot of the mark because I need to protect it. Friends wouldn't be very happy if I gave the mark away. So I've got to be careful. So you'll only see, you know, close crop shots and, uh, and basically me standing in the water. But uh, I'm sure you, I'm sure you all understand. I'm sure you've all got marks that you want to protect yourself. So I'll see you in a minute in the water. It's actually still a little bit early in the tide yet. I've just waded out onto the, the feature that I'm fishing and uh, it is just a, maybe an hour or so too early but I'm going to put a few casts in just in case there are any bass laying in the shallow water. There's a bit of brown chocolatey water close in but that will clear as, as the tide comes up and the water gets deeper the colour will drop out. It's only the the close-in water that's that's coloured. But I've got some, some clear water in front of me. So I'm going to put a mullet pattern through the water. Get my first few casts of the year in. <laughs> and, uh, and see if there's anything about. using was a little bit on the big side and hey presto got a fish on a monster 
few pounds and a half. what we came for. Yes. They're just beautiful creatures aren't they bass? Look at that. He wanted that fly. I just switched over to a smaller mullet pattern um, and he nailed it. Gave me a lovely fight in the flow. Fantastic. Well worth that epic walk hey. And my first fly caught bass of the year. Fabulous. Woohoo! <laughs> Put him back. Go on, fella, off you go. So the water's flowing from left to right here. So I'm casting slightly up, upstream as it were, up tide. And I'm allowing the fly to drift back with the flow naturally. And I'm just keeping keeping in touch with the with the fly. You'll notice I've been casting in different directions. It's always worth searching the water out in front of you, um, you know, to see if the bass are laying in a certain position on the feature. Well, I said there were some little schoolfish about tugging at the fly, and I was right. Perfection in miniature. <laughs> I had a break for a little while. Went and sat on the shore and rehydrated with a drink. No more tugs or pulls after that first fish. I kept fishing for probably another hour, but didn't have any more tugs, so, uh, so I had a break and I've just come back and get a few little pulls from these schoolies. Might be all that's about tonight, but uh, I'll keep fishing for a bit longer and uh, we'll see what happens. As I said earlier, um, I'm not a great fan of daytime sessions, clear skies, bright skies, clear water, uh, it's not the best combination for bass fishing, I think actually I've done pretty well. Um, I much prefer to fish when the light levels are much lower, uh, towards you know uh, evening, dusk, uh, if I do fish during the day I'd much rather have a, an overcast day feel that bass are more confident hunting in lower light levels. I think when it's bright like this they tend to sit in the deeper water. They're unwilling to come into this, this these sort of shallow features and uh, it, it can be a bit, bit of a struggle. You know, like today you might pick up the odd fish. I mean, don't get me wrong, I've had days when it's it's been bright, sunny and, and I've caught lots of fish but um, that is the exception rather than the rule in my experience. So uh, there we are. I managed to catch a couple, so I can't complain. Well, I think I'm coming to the near the end of my session now. The, uh, the water's got a bit deep. I, I think I made a slight error in that I brought the fl floating line instead of an intermediate. Uh, a bit of a schoolboy error on my part, but uh, it doesn't really matter. I achieved what I set out to do and catch my first bass of the year on fly, which I'm very, very pleased about. Uh, I've had a lovely time wind's been a little bit uh, stronger than I thought but uh, 
not too bad. It has made the fishing a little bit awkward, but uh, I'm not going to make any more excuses now. I've caught a couple of fish, so I'm happy. So uh, if you've enjoyed the film and you'd like to see more, please like and uh, subscribe down below. And uh, I'll try and make some more in future for you. I hope you might have learned something from the video. And, uh, for me to do is say thanks for watching and see you next time.